Hi, thanks for tuning in. So today we're going to plant some onions. Uh, I have two types of onions that we're going to be growing this year. We have Elsa Craig's, and I got these from Baker Creek, um, rareseeds.com. And then I also have the Peter Glazebrook onions, um, which are like world-class, world-record onions. So... Um, the Elsa Craig onions, these were developed at the Colzean, Colzean Castle in Scotland in the 19th century. These are a long day type onion that reaches massive size. Five pounds is rather common. Um, and the Peter Glazebrook onions, like I said, these are world record onions. They, they've grown like 18 pounders, 12 pound onions. I mean, they, these are world class onions that a lot of people um, try to break records with. So uh, we have two types of onions that we're going to grow this year. Um, and I'm just going to show you how I start the seeds. Um, so I have some Jiffy, you know, seed starting mix. That's uh, mostly peat moss. Um, you know, when you start seeds, the seed has everything that the plant needs to, um, to live off of at first. So um, what I did is I what I do is I save my uh, to-go containers when I eat out, and I like to use those when, when I garden. So for our Elsa Craig onions, you know this pack has 300 seeds in it. I don't plan on growing 300 of these, but I do. This is going to be my main onion that I'm growing. So we're just going to mass sow these. And so what I did is. Um, I filled this up with some of that seed starting mix and I'm just gonna spread some seeds out over it like this. I'm not even gonna count how many. I'm just gonna sprinkle them on there like so. <clears throat> I know I don't need 300 onions. But these do grow really good size onions. This is what we grew last year. But last year we bought onion sets. And they're a pretty impressive size for homegrown onions, to be honest. So, okay, that should be enough. And I have a, a squirt bottle, a spray bottle of warm water here. And I, I sprayed this seed starting mix already so that it's moist now i'm going to sprinkle some dry mix on top of there just to cover the seeds like that and a little bit more And that's the easiest way to start start your onion seeds. And I'm just going to hit that with a little more warm water. Now, you don't want standing water. You don't want these to be soaked. You just want it to be moist. I'm going to cover that up. I'm going to put them under the lights. I think I'm going to start with 24 hour light to start with. Not sure. Like I said, you know, this is my garden is pretty experimental right now, but I am going to read up on, on it. Usually when I start stuff, peppers, tomatoes and things, I usually do start under 24 hour light just until I see some sprouts. So that was the Elsa Craig onions. Those are, those are our main our main onions. Um, all right. <clears throat> so now for the the Peter Glazebrook onions or Glazebrook. I'm not sure how to how to pronounce his name, but for the Peter Glazebrook onions, um, I often see when they grow these, they grow them in pots instead of um, hills or row, hilled rows. So 
I'm going to start these in individual cups. These are just your basic bathroom cup. And um, I didn't moisten this soil yet, but I know that that's going to make it easier to work with if you pre moisten it. Again, you don't want standing water. You just want your soil moist, your seed starting mix moist, or peat moss, or whatever you like to use. I like to buy, you know, pre-mixed stuff. It's just the, the way I like to do things. That way I know I got the mixture right. So... So all I'm going to do is just poke a little hole in each of these cups. Each of these cups I'm going to dab a little hole in there. My wife doesn't like me doing this in the house. But what can I say, you know? All right, so I have six little cups here. I'm gonna start six little seeds. Again, these are pre pretty premium, you know? So if I can save some, that's great, right? And the thing is, is these are, uh, these are show onions, you know? So I'm, I'm not gonna try to grow a mass production of them or nothing like that. So you're gonna take some individual care, so. Each of these little cups, I'm going to put one seed in there. Maybe I should put two per, just to, in case some don't sprout. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'll get a couple more seeds here. I think we're going to do two per cup. And I get these at uh, Giant Veg, giantvegseeds.com. Buy these online. I think they're in the UK. It takes a couple weeks for them to reach you. But, um, you know, it's a lot of fun growing, growing giants from what I see. So I'm looking forward to trying it out this year. We're going to grow some giant tomatoes. And some giant pumpkins. I'm really excited about the pumpkins. We're going to grow giant watermelon, giant onions, you know. I mean, it's, you know, it's just for fun, so. That's pretty much it. We got two seeds per cup. Smash some of that soil back down over them. Just like that. My main focus this year, uh, when it comes to tomatoes, we're going to try some dwarf varieties. You know, I, I have a lot of fun growing um, heirlooms and things. You know, I really like that. You know, the uh, indeterminate varieties. I really enjoy growing those, but this year um, I'm going to focus more on dwarfs and um, early varieties as, you know, I live in Wisconsin and uh, it's northeast Wisconsin, so we have a really short growing season. I forgot what it is, like 133 days or 140 days. You know, it's, it's really not long, a few months, so. All right, so I'm going to take these cups, each of these cups, and I'm just going to set them in this container. And the reason I like these containers with the lids is because um, it acts as your humidity dome. You know, it keeps some of, keeps some of that moisture in 
keeps it humid. You know, your seeds, your seeds like it, like it moist and humid. So. Okay, so that's it. And in a couple of days, a couple of days when we have, uh, you know, when our onions sprout, I'll show you what it looks like. So, all right, thanks for tuning in.